A young teenager finds a cursed tape that transports him into a neon-drenched alternate future full of hazards and 80s references. The only tool he has to assist him is the remote control he brought along, one that seemingly allows him to control the flow of time. Provided he can avoid being crushed by a Rubik's Cube or refrain from falling off a Tetris block into electric water, he might just make it home. Betamax is a first-person, non-combat puzzle game, one of several recent titles designed in the vein of Portal. In this case, the key mechanic is time manipulation. The Betamax remote allows the player to pause or rewind time. Significantly, certain objects, those with a pink glow, are unaffected by the remote. A player can drop a pink crate on a switch and then rewind time and have the crate stay put, or freeze time in mid-air and wait for a pink platform to pass underneath. It's not immediately obvious that this is how the world of Betamax works, but it shouldn't take too long to get a handle on it. There is a bit of a learning curve here, which is why it's good that Betamax is pretty forgiving overall. The game pauses on the player's death to allow for a rewind, and there's no limit on time powers at all, so one could rewind all the way back to the start of a level. The puzzles are also quite intuitive, provided that the player can remember where everything is located. End of the day, it's not Portal, but it should appeal to people who are fans of that same style.